Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll be making my first ever floating frame with hardwood spleens. The frame will be made for this particular painting that my daughter did. It sits on a half inch Baltic birch piece of plywood and the painting itself is about 3 16 inch uh, thick. First things first, I'm gonna set up my planer. Check out this cool flip. There it is. All right. Unfortunately, I did not make a video on this build for that flip cart, but uh, yeah, it's super useful. Anyway, you see me here attaching the dust collection. I then select my wood and uh, begin planing this board. Once the board has been planed, I take it over to my table saw and I rip it down uh, to about two inches. I first remove the excess pieces. As you can tell, this was a tongue and groove piece of board and removing that tongue allows me to have clean edges all the way around. I then take it over to my miter saw I set up my sacrificial fence, flip the miter saw over to 45 degree angle, and I begin making my mitered cuts. To ensure accurate cuts, I measure from the short side of the mitered cut, and I do this for all four pieces. The next few shots are pretty self-explanatory, so sit back and enjoy. And there you have it. The next step is to cut out the boards where the painting will sit on and give it the floating illusion as well. There it is. All four pieces again will have the mitered edge cuts. I'm taking some scrap pieces of half inch plywood that I'm using for support to elevate the pieces that I just cut off the back and from the front it'll give me the proper depth uh, where the painting will actually sit in. And that's it folks. Next step, let's cover up those nail holes. Can you give me that, Jake? This? Yes, ma'am. Put it right here. Thank you. We're gonna make. Excuse me. Start the machine. So at this point the frame is already solid and sturdy. Nevertheless, I'm going to add a couple of hardwood spleens 
made from Paduke to give it additional rigidity and of course it's going to look a lot better. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. I got to test out how they fit and they feel pretty good. Next, I simply uh, apply a little bit of glue and I let these dry overnight. All right, guys, I got a little too excited and I went ahead and trimmed off the excess pieces. I ran it through my table saw and so now I'm just going to give it a quick sanding and it should be ready for a final finish. Now I just got to paint the inner frame black. Peeling off the tape and seeing those clean edges is so satisfying to do. Now I'm just going to seal the outer edge. Now to mount the painting, I'm going to drill four holes from the back to the front of the frame and then I'm going to use one inch screws to secure the painting. And I think you already know. Oh yeah. Just making sure it's half inch space all the way around before I screw it into place. I'm just adding a couple straps and wire so I can hang this frame. And there you have it everyone. A floating frame with hardwood spleens. Thanks for watching, everyone.